and welcome to Jerusalem Temple's virtual service. We are so glad that you have taken our time to join us today. And we are so very grateful that God has blessed us to see this very new year of 2021. As we all know, last year of 2020 was a very challenging and difficult one for us all. But because of God's grace, he has kept us and allowed us to be here today. And so therefore we ask that you would just simply help us to share the gospel of Jesus Christ by simply liking our page, sharing our videos, and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Also, if you would like to be a blessing to this ministry, you may do so by one of the ways that are displayed across the screen. You may do that now, or you can just simply wait until after you have enjoyed the service to be a blessing. However you choose, we are just thankful that you have joined us, and we pray that God continue to be a blessing upon each and every one of you. Thank you so much.
us with blessings, undeserving blessings. Amen. And we thank him for that on today. Amen. Dear gracious and heavenly Father, Lord, we bow before you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, for this day, for this time, for this hour. God, we ask that you would send your word right now, God. Send your healing word. Send your saving, delivering word, God. In the name of Jesus, your mind-changing word. Your heart delivering word, God. In the name of Jesus. God, we need you now, oh God. We need you, Lord Jesus. Let your anointing flow right now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, word these lips of clay, oh God. Lord, search my heart, God. Take out everything that is not like you, God. Remove everything that is displeasing to you right now. In the name of Jesus. God, I ask that only you be glorified in this hour and your people be edified, God, in the name of Jesus. God, we shall be careful to give your name all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory shall be thine. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is a wonder in my soul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is a wonder in my soul. Thank you, God. Thank you for salvation, God. I tell you, amen, that is something that we should not take lightly, amen. The salvation of God. Hallelujah. I mean, in a world that's full of chaos and full of turmoil, Amen. God is yet saving. Hallelujah. God is yet healing. Hallelujah. God is yet delivering. Amen. Hallelujah. He's a wonder working God. Amen. I want to go quickly to the word. Amen. Thank God for you. Amen. For those of you that may be viewing. Amen. Via Facebook and YouTube. Amen. We ask that you continue to just keep on tuning in. Amen. Tuning in to the word, amen, and listening and, and experiencing, amen, what God has, amen, for his people. Amen. We're going quickly to the word, amen. Going to the book of Exodus. Amen. The book of Exodus chapter 14, verses 21 through 23. Amen. Then we're going to skip down to verses 26 through 28. 
and then read verse 30. Amen. The word of the Lord reads, And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night, and made the sea dry land, and the waters were divided. And the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea upon the dry ground, and the waters were a wall unto them on their right hand and on their left. And the Egyptians pursued and went in after them to the midst of the sea. Even all Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. Amen. Verse 26. And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thy hand over the sea, that the waters may come again upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots, and upon their horsemen. And Moses stretched forth his hand over the sea, and the sea returned to his strength. When the morning appeared, and the Egyptians fled against it, and the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. And the waters returned and covered the chariots, and the horsemen, and all the host of Pharaoh that came into the sea after them, there remained not so much as one of them. In verse 30, thus the Lord saved Israel that day out of the hand of the Egyptians, and Israel saw the Egyptians dead upon the seashore. Amen. We thank God for, amen, the reading of his word. Amen. And I want to use for a subject on this evening, amen, trusting God in your sea of circumstances. Trusting God in your sea of circumstances. Amen. Living saved, amen, when we live for God, amen, we can... Rest assured that there will be some trials, amen, some tribulations that we will have to face. Our faith must be tried. Our integrity has to be tested. And there are some things, amen, that can come our way, amen, that can, it seem like they really can get our attention, amen. But even when that takes place, amen, I want to, warn you that we need to be careful because as we heard, amen, we can spend so much time foc focusing on that thing, amen, and we can really forget about who is in control. Hallelujah. Amen. And when the enemy sees that, you know, all of our focus is aimed toward the problem, amen, and rather the problem solver himself, he will try to use that against us. He'll try to make us forget what the word of God has said. He tries to make us forget to count it all joy when we fall into divers temptation. Hallelujah. The enemy wants us to forget that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered them out of them all. He wants us to forget that greater is he that is within me than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. So, amen, even, you know, when these things come about, amen, we must continue to trust God. Trust God in our sea of circumstances. Hallelujah. Trust him even when, amen, there are some things that come about that we just can't seem to figure out. Trust him, amen, when there's just some things that may be hard to understand. Amen. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And lean not unto thy own understanding. And in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct our paths. Hallelujah. So continue to trust God. Hallelujah. And believe and know that God has already worked that thing out. Hallelujah. And you know, I was, I was sitting at home, and you know, I began to think about uh, some things, and you know, we, we, I know we've Pretty, I'm pretty sure we've heard this being stated before, amen, to trust them even when you can't trace them, amen. 
And I began to think about that, and I said, you know, I wonder if we ever ask ourselves this question. Is my not tracing him a result of me not trusting him? I'll say that again. Is my not tracing him a result of me not trusting him? Are we really trusting God? Because if I'm, if I'm trusting God, then I'm also seeking him. Hallelujah. The Lord says, seek me and you shall find me. So even in the midst of hardship, amen, we got to continue to read that word. Hallelujah. We got to continue to pray. We got to continue to fast. Amen. Seek the Lord. Amen. In the midst of hardship and say, Lord, I'll seek you because I trust you. Hallelujah. In the midst of sickness and pain, Lord, I'll seek you because I trust you. Hallelujah. Even in the midst of financial struggles, hallelujah, Lord, I will seek you because I trust you. Hallelujah. And now, amen, I'll have that total confidence in knowing that I shall trace him because I trust him. Hallelujah. And when, that, and when we trust him, Amen. God will begin to give us strength. Amen. He begin to give us strength to journey on. We need God's strength to make it in this life. Amen. So strength is so important in our living for God. Amen. Let's look at it in the natural of why we need strength. Amen. Our bodies need it. Amen. In order to function properly. Amen. The more strength our bodies obtain, the better our bodies will respond. Amen. Look for example. Amen. If we have no strength in our legs, amen, we may find it rather difficult just to walk, just to move around. Amen. And just like our bodies need this strength, amen, our spirits need this strength as well. Hallelujah. We need the strength of God to make it in this life. Hallelujah. Because without the strength of God, we will even find it difficult Amen. To walk this journey in God. Hallelujah. And I'm saying that there will be some things that will come about that only the strength of God can pull us through. Hallelujah. So we need his strength. Amen. Without the Lord's strength, we are no match for the devil. God has to give us strength through prayer. Hallelujah. Prayer brings about strength. Hallelujah. And then, amen, we can, we can know and believe what that verse said, that I can do all things, hallelujah, through Christ who strengthens me, hallelujah. And during our times of trouble, amen, the Bible says in Psalm 46 and 1 that God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in the time of trouble, hallelujah. So God is our strength, amen. The song says strength like no other, hallelujah. There's no strength like the strength of God. Hallelujah. Amen. God gives us strength in our time of trouble. Hallelujah. And then that verse, amen, it gives us the assurance that victory is ours. Hallelujah. Victory belongs to Jesus. And he has given us the victory over every situation, every circumstance that may come our way in this life. God has given us the victory. And we must walk in that victory. Hallelujah. We must walk in it. First, believe it. Amen. And know that I already have it. Hallelujah. And amen. And once this thing gets established, amen, we'll, we'll start expecting it during our testing times. Amen. The devil will come, but amen. All, we'll know already in our minds and our heart that victory is mine. Hallelujah. God has given us the victory. We can speak that thing with confidence. Amen. And don't just say it, amen, and not believe it. Because it's one thing, amen, to say something and yet don't believe it. Hallelujah. We have doubt. Amen. And that's why this thing, like I said, needs to be planted, amen, in our minds. And then it will begin to soak in our hearts. Amen. And that's when we know that we know. Amen. The enemy, amen, he doesn't care, you know, what we say, amen, or how many times we go throughout the day saying it, amen, he doesn't care, amen, I can go throughout the day 
saying victory is mine, victory is mine all day long. Amen. But when I don't believe it, if I don't believe it, then it has no effect on my situation. It has no effect on my circumstances, the things that I'm facing, if I don't believe it. Hallelujah. But when our faith is in God, glory to God, the Lord will fight our battles. Hallelujah. And know this, he may not fight your battle, amen, when we want, when we want him to fight it. He might not even fight it how we want him to fight it. But God will show up on time. Hallelujah. He's always on time. The song says he's an on-time God. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. We just got to learn how to wait on him. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. And he shall renew our strength. And put on the whole armor of God. That we may be able to withstand the wiles of the devil. And endure hardness. Amen. As a good soldier. The Bible tells us to be a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Amen. And we suffer. Know that, know that we, we suffer because Christ suffered. Amen. So if God suffered, we have to suffer in this life. 1 Peter 2 and 21 says, For even hereunto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. And I would re much rather suffer a man knowing God than to suffer without knowing him. Hallelujah. I believe, truly believe that it would be even more harder, amen, going through whatever we have to face without God. So I want God on my side. Hallelujah. I would rather know the Lord while going through, amen, because now, amen, I will have that confidence and their assurance that God will bring me out. Hallelujah. And just look over the past couple of years. I tell you, these have been some of the most difficult years, I believe, that this nation has ever seen. Amen. So many people have, amen, lost their lives. So many people have lost their jobs. Amen. They've been laid off. So many people have, have killed other people because they were fired from their job and then taken their own lives. Oh, God, help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. But knowing Jesus makes the difference. Hallelujah. God being on our side makes the difference. Hallelujah. Amen. And while I'm going through, amen, I, I know that the Lord's grace is sufficient for me. Hallelujah. His grace is sufficient for us. Knowing that his grace is sufficient, it makes it all right. Hallelujah. We have to put our faith in knowing that God's grace is more than enough. It's more than enough to see us through. In fact, it's the grace and mercy of God that has kept us and brought us to this point. Hallelujah. God's mercy and his grace has kept us. Amen. The Bible said that he won't put more on us than we can bear. Hallelujah. Thank God for his word. 1 Corinthians 10 and 13 said, There have no temptation taken you, but such as come into man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted Above that ye are able. Hallelujah. But will with the temptation also make a way of escape that ye may be able to bear it. He will not put more on us than we can bear. Hallelujah. And know that in doing this, amen, God is just, he's preparing us. Amen. He's getting us ready to reach a new level in him. Hallelujah. The molding, amen, and the shaping is getting us ready Amen. In order for us to move forward in Christ. Hallelujah. So, yes, amen. Persecutions will come. Yes, sickness will come. Financial struggles will occur. Problems on the job will take place. And maybe even within the family. But I tell you on today, be encouraged. Hallelujah. Be encouraged. Continue to trust God. In our sea of circumstances. Amen. God has already given us the tools that we need to make it. Amen. And, in, in, and the one thing I, I love, amen, that the Lord has given us, amen, is his word. Hallelujah. We can fight the enemy with the word of God. Hallelujah. Paul describes this as the sword of the spirit. And we know Jesus himself used this very thing to fight the devil off while being tempted in the wilderness. 
So as I said, and if, if he tempted Jesus, hey amen, you can rest assured that he's coming for us. Hallelujah. But let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. When the enemy comes in, amen, like a flood, amen, from the north, from the south, from every side, amen, have the mind to use the word of God in your situation. Hallelujah. Don't let the word of God be in vain. Use it. Hallelujah. Use the word of God in your situation. And like I said earlier, always remembering to pray. Amen. Pray for the strength of God. Continue to trust God in our circumstances. And as I said earlier, amen, in this life, there will be some situations, amen, or some circumstances that we're going to find ourselves faced face with, amen, when we choose to live for him. In fact, amen, Jesus said that in the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. So in other words, amen, Jesus is basically saying don't be discouraged because I have defeated the weary trials of life. Hallelujah. Don't be discouraged, amen, because I have defeated the uneasy circumstances in your life. And this is the very thing that Moses and the, and the children of Israel were faced with. They were faced with, faced with some uneasy circumstances there at the Red Sea. Amen. We go back and read the text. Amen. There at the Red Sea where the great body of water was before them, preventing them from crossing over. Hallelujah. And Pharaoh and his army were pursuing after them. Amen. They were in some uneasy circumstances. But God being God, hallelujah, and seeing the circumstances that his people were faced with, he quickly intervened, hallelujah. He intervened and God delivered them, hallelujah, because they trusted God. They trusted him, amen, in their circumstances. So I want to encourage you, amen. It may not always look good, amen. It may not always feel feel good, but continue to hold on. Hallelujah. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. Amen. And continue amen to trust him. Trust him. Amen. In every situation, everything the devil throws at you, continue to trust God. Trust God in your sea of circumstances. God bless you. After hearing the word of God, if you want to make Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior, I invite you and I encourage you to do so at this time. Just pray this prayer with me. Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God. I believe that you died on the cross for my sins. And I believe that you rose again. And Jesus, I pray that you will forgive me for my sins. And that you will cleanse me from all unrighteousness. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer with me, you are now my brother or my sister in Christ. And we are so happy and excited that you made Jesus Christ your choice. Let us hear from you. If you made the awesome decision to make Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior, we would love to hear from you. Use the information on your screen to contact us and we will be praying for you. If you do not have a church home, we would love to have you into our fellowship at Jerusalem Temple. Just email us your name and your number, and a member of our ministerial staff will contact you with further information on how you can do so. If you would like to be a financial blessing to this ministry, keep watching for further information.